All right, hey Virgo. So I'm doing um, a read for you guys. For those of you in um, no contact. No contact. So essentially what, what's the, the 30 day no contact rule, right? So we're just gonna get your person's energy meditated on you as the intent um, and your person's energy as the read so that we can see what's coming on their end of the spectrum. So the first cards out, so you know this is your read, is what caused the no contact. So for Virgo, what caused the no contact? All right. Okay, so this is what I feel. Okay, I feel like, and I haven't really been reading the bottom, but this one caught my attention. So Four of Cups, this is about offers being made in the past. All right, so um, I feel like, um, you know, you're the one that's kind of experiencing the problem. So I almost feel like you um, were the one to make the offer in the past to this person. It doesn't have to be that, all right? It could be that this person, um, they were, um, they just feel tied to a situation of the past they're not ready to let go of, that they feel heartbroken by. And it could also be that this person had you in third party and they didn't know what to do. This is not a third party card for me, but because of its com because of it coming out with the eight of swords and the three of swords, I kind of feel like, um, you know, there's some detriment to this um, situation. So um, either somebody wasn't ready to let go of heartbreak or somebody was in a third party. And that's just how I kind of feel about this. So I feel like there's two different angles that we're driving here. Um, so whichever way, if it resonates, um, those are the two angles I'm kind of going off of. All right. Um, the energy I pull is pretty much the collective that's all experiencing the same thing. All right. So um, what is this person's energy? Yeah, they're not happy. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I, I almost feel like we need to um, demote the third party situation um, because when the death card comes out in reverse, this is um, speaking of being afraid of new beginnings. All right, so like I said, this person could have had somebody in their past that really has done some damage to their heart. All right really tore them up and this person even though they may not outwardly project um, what they're going through they they're only um, allowing their heart to give page status they're not uh, being a knight they're not being a king they're not being an emperor all right this person whatever they have gone through with this past uh, situation has really disallowed them to um, um, move forward with anybody so what is their situation self-reflection oh yeah this person mm. yeah you guys their situation so it's like they are having some internal conflict right now all right it's like all they know how to do is string people along because of the damage that's been done to them all right, but um, their situation right now, I do see where they are going within and kind of doing some self-reflection. Maybe even had a little bit of a spiritual kick in the ass. All right, we have the moon card coming out, which speaks of miscommunication. All right, so um, this is where I feel like you guys are not, not even talking about the situation. Like, I almost feel like you don't even know why this person, their energy is not in your energetic field, um, but it's because this person doesn't know how to communicate. So how do they feel about the Virgo? Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. How do they feel about Virgo, this person? All right, 
So, yeah, look at that. The bottom of the deck, we have the star card coming out. So, how do they feel about you? They, I feel like they know that they messed up. Yep, they know that they messed up. They're thinking about it. How could I walk away from Virgo? All right, how could I walk away from them? Because I, it was the one time that actually, since whatever it is I've been through, it's the one time that somebody's made me feel like I could actually have this, this uh, the feeling of home, the feeling of stability, the feeling of comfort, all right? They know that they walked away from something good, Virgo. I'm just going to tell you that right now. So... What was or is their intentions towards Virgo? What was or is their intentions? Okay. I feel like you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, what I feel like their intentions are, Virgo, is um, it's like they want to close out the past. They want to close out the past so bad, okay? Their intentions, I don't feel, were like extremely negative, but I feel like you just caught them at a bad time. All right, this person cannot allow love in. We have the Ten of Swords, which is about endings, okay? Um, and the, t the world card is about wanting the cycle to change. So this person, they want to change, but I feel like you're, I feel like you're kind of dealing with a pretty mature energy and that they know that, um, if they're not emotionally available, that they have no business being with anybody, but I almost feel like in the way they've pulled their energy back or the way you guys, um, ended things for now, I feel like it was kind of, uh, you know, done on the wrong terms. So... How do they feel about reconciliation? There's that star card again. Oh, they're sad. Look at, they're sad. They want to rebuild. They want to restart with you. Okay. The five of pentacles, that's the uh, woe is me card. Okay. The star, how do they feel about reconciliation? They don't they miss you i'm just gonna say that whether you guys think so or not this person misses you so um will they be reaching out mm -hmm. yeah it might take a little bit longer than 30 days for you guys, all right, because we have the hangman coming out. Um, but look at where everything has been choppy or crappy, all right, you guys are coming out of that. This person, they're coming towards you, and I feel like this is just simply you, like no other way to put it. I feel like you're coming out in the Queen of Pentacles energy, and this person, they're just, it's like, just give them... If you want this person back, just give them the space and let them come towards you when they're ready. Okay, Virgo? So for you, is this situation uh, worth pursuing for Virgo when it comes back around? This person, they're coming back into you. Look at, yeah. They're coming back into you and surrendering. Extending the olive branch, wanting to repair whatever damage was done. Wanting to apologize that they couldn't accept your offer when you had it. But look at ace of cups so you're going to have your new love you're going to have your new start with this person for those of you who want it so what is your advice you're going to be happy look at that three of cups this is going to make you very happy when it comes back around oh god and when this person like when they wake up it's like they're not going to just they're not going to move at a, a snail's pace and to be honest you might think they're being too hasty yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at that. The full card, brand new beginning, Virgo. And then you got justice coming out. This person's gonna have a wake up call. All right, they're gonna they're not walking back towards you, they're running. And like it almost might scare you how fast this person is gonna come back into you, Virgo. And it's like 
your team is like, we're, we're going to kick this person in the butt and send them back over to you. Oh my God, I love it. And my heart actually feels like super duper happy right now. Um, so Virgo, I'm going to leave this here because it's so beautiful. I, I love it. And I truly hope that um, for those of you who um, are experiencing this, you guys let me know who, who it is that I'm talking to. I mean, absolutely thrilled about it. Um, I just, I love happy shit like this. So I love you guys. All right. Um, I will talk to you soon.